Is he going to take less just so he can play for the Warriors? Sounds like no. Sounds like he's trying to uh, create some leverage to force the Warriors into, into paying him up. And frankly, he's not at the point of his career yet where he needs to take a major discount. Like, with all due respect, David West was at the point of his career where he needed to do that. Iguodala is not. There are other teams out there that are willing to pay him a lot of money, and we'll see. And the interesting thing about this is Durant. Durant has agreed to alter his contract in such a way that allows all the other Warriors players to get paid. In a, in a way, he kind of put the screws to Joe Laca by doing that because he could have just said, I'm taking the max. And if that had happened, everybody would have had to fit within a box. But, he would, or, but Durant basically allowed the box to be opened. And so now, Sean Livingston, Ian Clark, I mean, not that these are vitally important players, but they can all Sean walk Sean Livingston's with, put in some pretty important buckets in the last couple of finals. That's true, but they can all walk with their hand out and say, pay me. And it's not just that they're worried about this year's tax. In the future, when Clay Thompson gets a new contract, uh, when Durant and, Iguod and uh, Curry's contracts come up, um, they're going to have to pay what's known as the repeater tax. So they're not, I, I think they would be willing to pay Andre a huge amount if he was willing to just take a one-year deal or a wow. two-year deal. But the fact that he may want a three-year deal or, my goodness, a four-year deal, what they'd be looking at in years three and four of that potentially would be in the hundreds of millions um, to keep that team together. All and right, that's so why it's... Scotty, from the player perspective then, this is why I'm so glad we have both of you here, you would, <laughs> these boots are yeah. walking. I mean, you're talking about a team that is, I mean, the ask Vegas. The odds are they win the next title versus well, going I, somewhere else I, I but think, getting more money and being more the guy again. I think you're a player of equal dollar caliber. You put yourself in a position to, at this stage of your career, to be very valuable. And it, it's, it's been a great place for him in Golden State because he's really been a very valuable player to them played a lot less minutes, so it's been a bargain for him, and he's been on the championship team and playing at a high level. So to me, I go out and I check the market because I don't think he's a player, as Brian say, can go back and make that money up. He can go and pretty much write his own check right now with any team because of the value that he's brought to the Golden State Warriors. So if Warriors it was you, you'd cash out of what seems like a yeah, relatively I, I short think it's, title it's to... For him, it's time to cash out. You got two championships, yeah, you could win three, maybe four, maybe five, but your financial value is dropping with that Golden State team and other guys has arrived. I feel like there's still a good chance that they could find common ground and, and he could be back, but he's just going to take some steps to determine what his value is. He's not just going to take whatever the Warriors offer. But I, I do think He's a very valuable piece of their success. No, he so leaves. That's a thing. They really need Ultimately, him. the Warriors have 10 free agents, and they're not all coming back at the end of the day. But they're going to get Curry and Durant back, and that's probably what's most important to them. You and I have many hours, including on this network later tonight, <laughs> to you discuss You mean to say this? they're going to lose McAdoo? <laughs> McAdoo's gone. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to discuss later today about the luxury tax and why these guys don't want to, well, anyway, it's not my billion dollars, but still, I would think if you have something as valuable as the Warriors are right now, a once-in-a-lifetime team, you would pay and anything. And that is to what Andre Iguodala is about to force. Yes. He, he wants to force him to do that. I, I just don't understand. Like, I mean, for the next, yes, as I like to say about Scotty and MJ, yeah. the Bulls have been waiting 20 years to reassemble what they had in that moment. Those moments, more. those moments don't come along very often. Right. You pay some money for that.